hey everyone i hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day so this video of mine is going to be a bit different from all the usual video that i uh, already created right so recently uh, i was one of the victims of an attack which basically was trying to get access of my account or get, get access of my machine right so i thought of creating a video on it to show you exactly that how someone can actually uh, send you something or do some kind of social engineering that will allow them to take over your machine entirely right so fortunately i was not like my machine was not exploited because of um, uh, whatever the attack was trying to do right but i was able to de detect it in midway right so i'm also going to show you that how we can detect all those things and uh, how we can basically detect if someone is trying to attack us on attack us or not right so uh, yeah let's see how we can do this but before uh, going to the video if you haven't checked out my previous video then go ahead and check it out you will learn that how we can create our own custom vpn and we can host it on aws for free for 12 months right so if you're interested then go ahead and check it out the link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see at the right side of the screen right and now with that being said let us get started Uh, so around you can see 12th of March in uh, 2024 I've got this message right so this is our official uh, business mail so you can see it's business at the red b practical dot tech and you can see that there is this company uh, is the email right so coral at the red cacao I, I, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right right so this particular email has sent me this message that streamed uh, prospective partner our company is looking for dedicated content makers to promote our new software which is Corel Video Editor right so normally if you have a YouTube channel or if you have, are into the content creation you'll know that a lot of companies will approach you right to sponsor their uh, products or something like this right so as you can see right over here it is doing the same thing it, it was saying that okay there's this product which is Corel Video Editor I want you to promote this in your next video right so normally as any user what I thought what okay but uh, let's try to uh, make this con conversation more uh, in detail right so that we'll understand that what we want to do so what are you looking for as a company right so how we can collaborate together that's what i think right so what i did was uh, i replied to this uh, particular uh, company i said that uh, we are okay to uh, collaborate with you but we are looking for some paid partnership instead of uh, like uh, mutual benefit or uh, barter system right so we are basically interested in the paid uh, partnership as you can see that's what we have message and right after this you will notice something strange okay you see that it replied this message to me okay the so first what it says that well i hope we can agree on mutually beneficial terms i will tell you a little about our product and this is a program for editing video so basically in this paragraph it is only they are only saying that uh, this is a program so it's, it's giving the description about the program itself right and now here's the main part okay so if you see the points what he's saying is that our offer for 60 second integration is around somewhere around 500 to 5000 dollar now this is one of the main uh, main interesting part because you know if you are a small channel, then no one is going to pay you $5,000 for creating a video, right? So when I look at this uh, message, uh, like for the first time, I was very, like, you know, like I was very suspicious. Second thing is that you can see all the points. You will need a play, uh, you need to place a trailer at the beginning of your video. Uh, we need to download this archive. Now, another, another thing is that this is very, you know, uh, different from, uh, and this is very, you know, suspicious. Why? Because normally you can attach a PDF file that will have all the contact detail and everything, right? So normally if you collab collaborate with something, they'll attach a PDF file. But here you can see there is this archive file, okay? And now you see that after sending the contract, we'll send 50% of the payment. Contract will contain all the information about the cooperation and the method of receiving funds is specified in the contract, okay? You can see everything is in the contract. So basically what this message is telling me, it is telling me to download this file and read the contract right now here are the two main suspicious part first part is that no one's going to pay you five thousand dollars right the second thing is that you can see right over here it says we need to download the archive so normally why didn't you send me the pdf file this was the first question that came into my mind right and you can see that the archive is also encrypted you can see that your personal password to log into the archive is coral now if you know a little bit about how to create malware and all those things you know that if an archive is locked then no antivirus is going to scan it, right? And then you need to extract the file. Only then any antivirus will be able to scan the particular file, right? So it is basically doing this to prevent some level of antivirus detection. Okay, this is what it's trying to do. 
if you know this then you can easily understand that what the email is all about right and if you don't know then don't worry i have an awesome course which is hacking windows with python from scratch so you can check it out and you'll learn a lot of things that how we can create our own custom malware so the link is given in the description and i'm not going to go much detail go in much detail about the particular course you can check it out if you're interested okay so as you can see this is the links that they're given now what i'm going to do is let's try to open one link okay so i'm going to open this link let's copy this and let us just hit paste and go right you can see this is the file right over here and you can see the size of the file is actually quite big you can see 54.28 mb now again it is very suspicious why because normally a contract uh, a contract file of a pdf file should not be this much you know uh, larger in size right it should be somewhere around uh, maybe if the maximum size we'll talk about it should be somewhere around uh, 5 to 6 mb right that should be the maximum size of a pdf file but you can see here it is 54.28 mb again which is very suspicious now maybe because we have a pre preview file as well this is why the length of this file is quite big so let's try to download this file I'm going to download it so wait for a few seconds and now we'll inspect the file as well okay we'll basically see that what this file is all about so i'm just going to paste it in this download folder save this and meanwhile you can see there are a lot of links or other links has been given as well so let's try to wait for it to finish its download you can see the download has been completed right let me just open it and uh, let me just click on open now you, again you can say that it is asking for the password right and you'll see the archive has been encrypted with a password normally an attacker do this kind of thing when they want to prevent or evade any kind of antivirus detection okay so let's try uh, type the password which is corel it's going to copy this paste right over here uh, just close this one just maximize this and you can see this is the file right and if you see over here we've got two files right and right over here within the winrar itself we can see that this is an application file this is not a a pdf file right let's try to extract this okay i'm going to extract this to the download folder as you can see the file has been extracted right and again you can see my antivirus has been detected this particular file that this file is a pdf file right now let us assume that you don't have the antiviruses and all those things let's say you are a beginner or let's say this uh, application was protected okay uh, protected to bypass antivirus then what will happen in that scenario so what i'm going to do is uh, let me just turn off my antivirus for now right so again this is one of the reason why you should use uh, antivirus as well right you can see just going to turn off the uh, antivirus let's extract the file here uh, sorry i'm going to provide the password corel and here's the file now you can see we have two files over here right and you see i have enabled the extensions what i'm seeing right over here is that corel contract dot pdf dot exe right from this uh you can say analysis itself you can confirm that this is a vulnerable oh, sorry this is a malicious file why because you can see that this is an executable file pretending to be a pdf file right normally attacker do do these kind of things when uh, you see that uh, when they're trying to get access to your machine by using remote connection right or let's say that uh, let me just change my setting for now so i'm just going to show you a small thing like uh, you can see that hide extension for known file types right so this um, checkbox is disabled in my machine but in your machine by default windows uh, uh, check this particular checkbox right which means that you won't be able to see the uh, extension of the file okay if i click on apply now you will see that the extension right now is dot pdf right again it will it is looking suspicious because the attacker has not added the a pdf image but you can see right over here it says that corel contract dot pdf now any normal user who is who is not aware about this kind of attack will be basically double clicking on this file obviously i'm not going to do that and this will allow the attacker to get access of this particular machine right we can also go to the properties and then we can see that okay this is an application pretending to be a pdf file right so this is why uh, this is how the attacker was trying to basically hack my machine so that they can get access to my uh, you can say gmail account and all those things right so you need to be very 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 careful when you're open, opening any kind of file right not only that if you see we can or the attacker can basically embed a malicious code into 
a document file as well right that could be a word file that could be an excel file or any files right so let's try to analyze that what will happen in those scenarios as well right and if you are a normal user then how you should protect yourself from these kind of uh, attacks because normally when we see that if we have a, if we have a long range of application that we're using and operating every day you'll see that it could be possible for a user or for a user who don't know about this kind of attack to click or accidentally open this kind of file which can be very malicious right because they'll uh, allow the attacker to get access to your machine now let us try to see that how as a normal user we can prevent these kind of attack to uh, that will allow the attackers to hack our machine right so for that we're going to use a very awesome tool which is known as square x right so you just need to click the link which is given in the description or you can just uh, copy the link which is showing right over here on the display and then you just need to paste it in your browser like this so the link is squarex.io slash bp underscore yt and you'll hit enter and once you'll do that you'll see that you will be redirected to squarex web application let's try to wait a few seconds and then we'll be able to save you can see right over here it is right so as you can see squarex allows you to like protect from a lot of interesting things which are malicious website malicious file malicious contents and malicious network as well right so what we need to do right now is we need to click on add the squarex to brave and this will work in either brave or chrome right let's try to add this so let's wait for a few seconds now and we just need to click on add on add to brave and this will just add the extension you see it has been added right over here and what we can do now is we can just click right over here and then we can click on get started and we just need to create an account if you don't have any account or you can just uh, you know create one directly using sign up with google and all those things so i already have an account so i'm just going to click on uh, i have account i'm going to continue with my google okay let me just do a quick login and this is it so once you have squarex installed what we need to do is we need to go to the settings right and then what we can do is we can enable all these things okay uh additional view option for attachment scan for malicious documents right and if you go to the file viewer then what you can do is you can in allow this download interceptor right so what we it will do is a per side option allowing uploaded file to directly disposable file viewer this menu appears every time a file download has been started okay and again there is this interesting feature which is scan for malicious documents in download interceptor so whatever you're downloading what will happen is that it will be intercepted through squarex and it will check if the file is malicious or not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to enable both of these things uh, now i'm going to show you another malware just to understand that what uh, is an advanced malware over here okay you can see this is a malware which is uh, which i have downloaded so you can see this looks exactly like an excel file right and if i go to properties you can also see the extension of this file is dot xlsm which means this is an excel macro enable worksheet okay now this file normally if you see this file is looking like a normal file even if i scan this file with my antivirus which is updated fully updated you can see what it says is there's there's no virus form okay let's try to open this file and let's see what will happen okay you see right when i opened the file my calculator of this machine has been opened as well right let me just close this you see that this excel file itself was able to launch the calculator on my machine which means that it is able to execute some commands that ultimately resulted in this calculate opening this calculator right which basically means that using this technique an attacker can actually uh, take control of my machine let's say that if it tries to execute any malicious command then it will be able to take my uh, can take over control of my machine right so you see how dangerous it is right you can see right over here the file is uh, the file is excel file there is no uh, hidden file behind this like we saw previously that the exe file was hidden behind the pdf file right now it will be very difficult you can see that earlier the file was detected by my antivirus as well but this time you'll see that it is not getting detected by antiviruses in this scenario squarex is going to help you how let's see so i have sent this file 
to this email from from my official email which is fayazahmed.online at that gmail.com so this is my email and i have sent this file uh, to the business uh, account of bpractical which is business at the red bpractical.tech okay now you see what will happen if i try to open this file once i have configured everything on the squarex right let's try to open this file. i'm just going to click on this okay now before saving this directly you can see that it is saying squarex is saying that this file looks malicious right so what i can do is i so it has already detected that this file is malicious right what i can do is like say if I, even if i want to visit this file if you know if i want to open this file what i can do is i can click on this and i can open this file in save file viewer right i'm just going to cancel this and i'm going to open this in save file viewer now what this will do is so this will open this file on a cloud hosted machine okay so the machine that is hosted on the cloud is going to open that file on that particular disposable file you can see the file has been opened now let's say that even the attacker got access uh, even the attacker got access through this file so they will get access of this machine which is hosted on the cloud they'll not be able to uh, you can say they will not be able to get the access of my my machine instead they will get the access to this machine which is hosted which will be disposed after 10 minutes right so my machine is safe so this is why Square X is actually very essential for you if you want to have a complete security solution for you know, for uh, yourself when you're opening this file, right? These kind of files. So this is how you can use Square X. And if you go to the Square X extension, there are a lot of other interesting things as well that you can use to stay fully anonymous and all the things. So I already have created one video on uh, the particular uh, other tools of Square X, which is disposable file viewer, disposable ML, and all those things, right? So if you're interested, then you can go ahead and check it out. The link of the video is also given in the description, right? And this is basically how we can protect ourselves from these kind of various attacks that are used by attackers, that are used by hackers. I hope that you have understood it. If you have any doubts at any point, then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also. Do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cybersecurity as well as web development. And if you like the way I teach, then I am currently a few of these courses which you can see directly on your screen. So if you're interested, then go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, keep learning, keep hacking, and thank you so much for watching.